bike. You need a crescent wrench that you can um, grab onto this nut with and then he, you get this allen wrench when you get the k-bike and it goes in this outside of the wheel here and then you can loosen this and take this wheel off for travel the shafts also are removable so the nice thing about these shafts is that they're fully adjustable they slide in and out of this tube this tube is 11 inches long. So at this point, this shaft is all the way down inside here. So I have an extra 11 inches. What you wanna always make sure is that you have at least four inches of this shaft inside here. So that gives you seven inches of telescoping ability with the shaft to um, lengthen and shorten them. Um, and you can also turn them in and out to make them wider or narrower. So to do that, you have your 9 16 crescent wrench and you loosen these bolts here so the shafts slide in and out like so and they turn so you can make them narrower for the little tiny minis wider for the bigger ponies up to quite wide and quite long for a larger Shetland pony say I think uh, Kent told me the largest Shetland pony he's driven in his K-bike is a 46 inch Shetland pony mare. Then what I did, what my husband came up with is to get my shaft back into the correct spot. So after I've taken it apart for travel, then I, we marked it so that we would know right where to line it up here and tighten, retighten those little bolts. So if you come in, you can see there's a little marker spot here and you can't see it on the camera but there's a little marker spot there and I just line those up and then I just tighten these back down and voila your shafts are back on and you're ready to go the k-bike also has stirrups they're just a straight bolt um so far my foot has really liked this i think the fact that it's straight is just more comfortable for me personally that that's just myself not everybody but myself but these are adjustable as well same thing you just loosen these bolts here you can slide them back up and back and you can rotate them down and up till you get them just the way you like them so you will need two people to adjust your stirrups. You'll need someone to um, run the stirrup and have the crescent wrench while you sit in the bike and put your foot on them. We did this while it was hitched to Zorro. That makes the most sense to me. Um, if your pony can't handle you doing that, then your pony's probably not quite ready for a bike situation. They should stand really nice and quiet. And um, I have a picture that I'll insert after this little section of Zorro while we were working. He just had a foot cocked and took a nap while we did all the adjusting on the shafts. We adjusted the bike, we adjusted the big sh the big shafts on the basket um, and did all that. And we went in and out of the garage four times or so and he just took a nap the whole time. So in my opinion, that's the perfect bike pony. All right, on these shafts, you'll note that there's several loops here. So if you had a really large pony and you had your shafts telescoped out quite far, you might need to use this loop for your holdbacks and this would be your footman's loop. Um, when I have Zorro hitched in here, this is the one I use for my holdbacks. Keep in mind, whichever loop you use, that you have a nice straight line from your britching ring to your shaft and that you don't have a line that comes down from the pony's top of the hip to the shaft for your holdbacks. The other thing is you put you want your shaft loop to rest in the in this um, curve right here on the end of the shaft. And the thing that I think is really interesting is that you can put like a piece of uh, like a leather cat collar, dog collar, a nylon one from here to here, and then you have a closed shaft end. 
And so some people would just feel safer having that option. Um, you do have to wiggle this into your shaft loops, especially if you have the adjustable shaft loops. So I don't feel like this would ever fall out of my shaft loops. It's just not really a possibility with this ring on here, but it is nice to have that if you wanna go ahead and shut that down, close it, and then just feel a little bit safer. Um, I do wanna note that because these shafts are adjustable, um, width-wise and length-wise, I was able to dial it in exactly how I needed it on Zorro, and I had zero balancing issues at all with this spike. I don't have any bouncing that happens in this end of the shafts. Um, it doesn't jump up or down at all when I adjust myself in the seat or anything. So um, that also lessens the chance that your shafts are going to pop out of your shaft loops, and it's better for your horse. It's just not beating them up if you can get your balance right. All right, the the wheels on the K-Bike interior uh, nylon spoke wheelchair style wheel with an aluminum hub and each wheel can hold up to something like 800 pounds or something so they're very sturdy and strong they can handle the side to side pressure that happens with the cart from outside edge to outside edge this wheel is 25 inches tall and it's three inches wide Kent can do different size wheels so you can get a little bit shorter wheel if you have a smaller mini that you want to use this with you can get a little narrower wheel and he also ha has metal wheels that you can get to as well so for more difficult driving um, over lots of if you're driving in lots of grass and things like that you might want to do a metal wheel the k bike single tree is a closed end so you'll need um, quick release shackles you attach the quick release shackles on here and then you snap these onto your combo end traces or any trace that has a ring on it. So, and again, um, you'll need a little bit longer trace since the single tree is under the seat. The K-Bike has the boat seat, the folding boat seat, and it has the lever, the paddle over here that you pull up and you can slide the seat forward and back with this. The nice thing about the K-Bike is there is this option for these long shafts with the foot basket. And what that means, simply put, is you get two carts for the price of one. So you can put this foot basket and long shafts on your bike, and now you have a training cart. It's wider, it's sturdier, you have the boat seat, you can put your feet down in the basket and you're ready to go. With the longer shafts, you're safer for those young horses that might have a little buck in them, a little kick up or something. Um, you're not so close to them where their butts in your in your lap here you have some space and again these shafts telescope quite a ways out this bend here is where your shaft loop sits so they're a little further forward in that in the shafts um, so you and we have plenty of room I think we had about 15 or 16 inches from the front of this to Zorro's tail and that is so as Oliver grows he won't outgrow this cart um, and he won't. He'll, he'll be about Zorro size, even if he's a little bigger, these shafts will still fit him. And they also, they t uh, turn in and out so you can make them wider or narrower as needed. So again, you have the single tree with the closed end, so you need the quick release shackles on this one. Um, and I will insert a little photo of Zorro hitched to the bike with the shafts and the basket in here. So you The K-Bike, when it's set up with the short shafts, weighs about 55 pounds. When you add the long shafts with the foot basket, the total weight of the vehicle is around 90 pounds. So pretty similar to one of your like Kingston easy entry carts or something, um, but much sturdier and more stable. Real quick, I'll just talk about how you attach this to here. Kent has a video that shows how to do it as well, that anybody who gets a um, K-Bike with the long shafts and basket will have access to. This sleeve here, you pull your short shafts out, both of them, and then you pick this up, you have this leaning back, and you slide one shaft and this shaft into here. Just slide straight in, and then there's these um, straps back here that strap around this part of your cart, and that's how your foot basket kind of hangs down. Now the shafts are real sturdy in there and they're holding everything in really sturdy and solid. The straps are just an added safety feature.